don't rule out further signings for Manchester United this summer if they can find what they want. Chief Executive David Gill says the war chest for more transfers remains largely untouched. We've been clear all along. Um, some people haven't believed us, but we've been clear there is money in the bank and you know, we believe that a, a player is required to improve the squad and make sure it, you know, it's challenging for the top honours. The money's there and that's uh, uh, very much still the case. Yes, the Premier League champions have lost experience with the likes of Neville and van der Sar retiring, but they've also lost three big salaries and Gill insists their three acquisitions so far do represent value for money. We're not afraid to and demonstrate that we might prepare to spend big money on players of a certain age because you know, hopefully they'll improve at Manchester United. Hopefully they never want to leave Manchester United, but if we do, we hopefully retain some residual value in their, in their transfer. United's final tour match pits them against the team that's caused them more pain than any other of late, Barcelona. So has this summer's recruitment been about bridging the gap between Old Trafford and the new camp? No, I don't think we focus on one particular team and we were looking to improve Manchester United all along and uh, all the time and seeing how we can do that, replacing what, who's retiring, who's leaving, etc. And, and, and developing it. But I don't think we focus on you know, one particular team. We focus on Manchester United to make sure we are continuing to improve. We are uh, continuing to invest in the, in the team and therefore we can challenge it both domestically and in Europe. And I think that's what we'll, you'll see. Sold out stadiums, fans massing at each team hotel. This tour has seen Manchester United reach new heights in the USA as they aim to remain top of the perch back home. James Cooper Sky Sports, Washington.